<laughs> Is there anything? No, we don't. First of all, we don't do that. I think Dark Side would be fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> A musical number. That would be cool at the very end. Uh, I have to say it was really exciting meeting you, and I'm very sorry that we're never going to get to talk again. <laughs> they actually literally met in the green room, right? I don't think you guys met before. Or the kryptonite room, as we to call it. <laughs> so, uh, you mentioned uh, issue 99. Uh, it's yeah, let's talk about issue 99. <laughs> it's it's a quite an accomplishment to get to 100 issues. Uh, uh, and. I know, we're not, we're not there yet, man. <laughs> exactly, there's still time. <laughs> and you started in, what year was it, 2003? 2003, yeah. So that's interesting that you guys were both on your initial zombie journeys I actually, in 2003. I have to say, uh, uh, we started working on, uh, on The Walking Dead like right around the time 28 Days Later was released. Right. And so we got a big jump from that, but then... Uh, you know, like a year later, it was Dawn of the Dead and Shaun of the Dead, and I think that really put a big spotlight on zombies, which I think really worked out for me. So it was pretty awesome. Thanks, dude. <laughs> That's cool. You should do a Superman thing. I don't know what you said. Yeah. He's gonna be the next Batman. <laughs> so. Have we derailed this uh, enough for you? Oh no, this is this is where we live. We like this. Okay. We're good. Uh, what about uh, uh, for you guys growing up? Uh, you know the Romero movies, or what were some of the zombie things, or, or horror in general that you enjoy, or would consider maybe like a North Star influence? I see. I see you looking at me. Um, I, I mean, Romero is obviously a huge influence on, you know, what I've done with The Walking Dead. Uh, Horror-wise, I actually was not allowed to watch horror films for a really long time, which I think is why I'm such a sissy. Um, I was actually allowed to rent uh, a horror movie, like, every year on Halloween, and that was the only time I was ever allowed to watch a horror movie, and so every year I either got Hellraiser or Hellraiser 2. <laughs> You went back and forth? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> and I think the third one was that good. But, um, <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> I think they just made another one, didn't they? I think there's like nine. Yeah. Oh, there's like 12 of them. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. There's a lot. But, uh, so yeah, I actually didn't get into, like, horror stuff, really, until high school. So, and, and which is, uh, I, I'll tell an anecdote to fill time so we don't talk about Superman. Um, <laughs> I, have a, I have a son who's uh, six and a daughter who's three, and... Uh, because I didn't watch like the Friday the 13th movies until I was, you know, like 17, I watch them and I'm like, what? What is this? Like, this dude's running and I don't really, this isn't scary, this isn't cool, like, this is just kind of hokey. I'm like, what's going on? And so I just don't really enjoy those movies as much as I wish I did. And so I'm going to make my kids watch them when they're like 10. <laughs> so, um, Way scarier. Yeah, than not, I don't even think I'm going to tell them. I'm just going to be like, eh, you just watch this with me. <laughs> You know, she's on a trip or something. She, don't worry. Don't tell her when she comes back. 